Okay, so what we've got here is that we've got this small little bitty battery here, which is a um, 7.5 amp hour battery. And what we've got up here is we've got 26 amp hour batteries. Now, four of these inside of this system right here will run this server, which is my live server, will run it along with uh, the switch, I meant the router and the modem, along with the switch and the power block. We'll run all that for five minutes. So if the power goes off, the four batteries that originally came with this system will run it for five minutes. So I didn't want to play that game. So what I did is I went out and I bought these. To begin with, I only had two of them. I just got in two more. So I'm getting ready to hook up these two to that one so that it will have four batteries. Now, one of the things you have to remember is that each one of these batteries are 12 volts. That's 12 volts. So you need one battery, one big battery to replace one small battery. The company told me I could not do it. The company told me I could not go up to a 26 amp hour on this system, that it would not handle it. I proved them wrong like I always do. So what we're going to do is so we're going to go ahead and pick them up. So let's go ahead and get them out of the box. And we'll see you in a minute. Okay, so we've got our two new batteries here. We've already got them wired up. And what we're going to do now is that we're going to connect them to these two right here. This is our negative and this is our positive. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and shut it off. Okay, so now everything's shut off. And now we're just going to hook everything up. So that's what we're going to do right now. Between the batteries, I mean, so this right here is the original battery. I mean, you see how tiny that thing is compared to this one, so. I mean, just so, it's almost like uh, about four of each one of these to compare to one of them. Okay, so I've got all four batteries in here now. I had to rewire them so that I could extend the cable out. And the black right here is for ground. So if you're going to be running identical cables, I need to put some tape over that too. If you're going to be running identical cables, make sure that you put some black tape or something around one of your red cables so you will know which side is ground. But we got two of them sitting back here and then we got two of them right here. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and tape up this and uh, that way nothing can short them out. And so yeah, we don't want to cause no fire. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and tape this up and then we will fire it up. But yeah, so that's That's how they look right there. So we got four of these batteries in here compared to them little bitty teeny weeny batteries right okay, there. Okay, so I've got these taped up now and as you can tell, I've got it strapped. You want these straps so that you know this goes to one side, this goes to the other side. Because you don't want to get these mixed up and cause some major issues. So let's go ahead and turn it on. So we're back again. I had to plug it in that I had it unplugged so I could wire everything up. All right, everything, these two go to this side, these two go to this side, and this is my ground, and my power over yonder. So let's go ahead and cut it on, you ready? There we go, so uh, let's go ahead and turn on the servers. come up here all this stuff is running can't wait to be, get a bigger office instead of this tiny room and my server sitting in the closet it's 
So um, I actually need to take these. I need to move the hard drives out of here. Is it one, two, three, four? I think one, two. Anyway, there's four or five hundred gigabyte drives that need to be removed. These are two terabytes. I'm at one terabytes. So I got these two and these two right here are terabytes. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, swap them out so that whenever I boot up the server, everything should be running good. But the modem and the router are coming back alive. The switch is running. So everything is doing good. And, um,. But yeah, I can't wait to actually see this thing once everything is running on it. But anyway, I will finish this up as soon as I get these uh, these hard drives switched up. Okay, so we got everything up and running now. The server just booted up. I got all four drives. I got one, two, three, four. These two are empty. Uh, my RAID card uh, can handle one more slot, and so I can add in these two extra drives and i think i can get a backboard and add in another one but i mean the size of drives these days i don't really need anything bigger than what i've got uh but anyway so there's one two three four terabytes sitting here accessible 2.76 i think is what i've got access to and uh but she is uh, purring like a kitten. Everything's going the way it's supposed to go. So yeah, get you uh, four of these batteries right here. I have some uh, links in the description uh, for you to get them through uh, Amazon and other places. So this right here should run with just this server. And then that, this computer right here is my DC. So with this, this, this trip light, and then with my uh, Power Connect 5424 switch, the router and the modem, uh, all these together will run, just two batteries will run for 30 minutes. So with four batteries will run for an hour without power. So that is awesome. Now uh, this server right here is the one I'll be doing all of my lessons on, on, um, on the Patreon page. And I'll have a link in the description so y'all could access that even though there's no videos up right now. I'm getting ready to start doing videos. But this one right here is going to be where all the lessons are made from. But yeah, that is it. So uh, thanks for watching. This is Wayne Barron with Dark Effect Studios. Y'all have a good one now. Bye-bye.